What's up guys, this is Rixalite signing in and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. The game is still going on. I do apologize that this series is taking off too long, but this week, next week, hopefully we could do both this week. See how things go down. Some decks have changed since the last time. Also, for those interested, there's not going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening box. Um, there was going to be one, but, I hope, like, but when I received the last... What was it? Lightning Override. I ordered one box to come, but the place where I bought them from gave me three. So I let them know about their mistake because I'm a good guy. Also, I didn't want to be overcharged for something I didn't buy. And basically, um, I have to give two of the boxes back. I've opened one of the boxes that I rightfully did own. So there's not going to be no Yu-Gi-Oh! box opening, sadly. However, I am looking into the more future Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are coming out. I only buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I feel like they're going to help my decks and not just for a collection purpose. I still need to catch up with all the other ones I'm missing, so that's a little bit extra stuff that I need to deal with. But, without further fucking do though, let's go and beat the girl with the blue apple. With the story deck, and hopefully that we can do better with Yu-Gi-Oh's deck. And not fucking having shitty cards in our hands because he relies on Performer Pool. And there's only, what, 20% of the decks that's good with Performer Pool? Let's see what happens. Depending on how long this video takes, I might be doing Silent Hill today. If not, then that's a time tomorrow. Because it is the Silent Hill. Okie dokie. I don't know what Bow Hopper is. Looks like it's a Grasshopper to me. Alright, I don't know what these cards do. Fusion Sage, yes please. I might need that for something, don't know what yet. Galaxy Eyes, no? Rune Eyes. Rune Eyes it is. I need one Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon and a Spellcast type monster, okay. Um, target one card you control this turn when any move, when any monster effect resolves that targeted, that targeted that card at the activation negate that effect. During either player's turn, Except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one card you control this turn. Okay, so it's a double, it's a skill card. It's a, it's a, I get it. Skill cards get used twice. And when opponent's monster declares a direct attack, target the attacking monster negate the attack. And if you do, add up to two performable monsters from your deck to your hand. All right, we can have that one. Fusion conscription. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and add. And add one of the fusion materials listed on that card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. And if you do, for the rest of this turn after this card, you cannot normal summon or set normal summon set or special summon monsters with the add a monster's name, nor activate the effects. You can only use I might, I might use that if I need to. Okay, I did I pull out a spellcaster card. I did not, so let's get rid of that instead then. Okay, I don't mind using this card though. So what what can you do when you're in the Kaleidoscope, because I can't summon you, so what do you use your pendulum effect? All that monsters you gain control 300 attack power. Are you an earth or are you a light? You are an earth, sadly. You're an earth too. That's what light symbol looks like, okay. Um, what do you do for your pendulum attack? Once per turn you can target one face of monster you control against fringe attack for each powerful card you currently control. Well, okay then. Um, might help me get a little bit stronger for 1,800, so... Fuck it. Let's see what do. And I should gain 300 attack, maybe? Unless, does it conclude that one too? It did give it to 600, okay. Tribute one perform power once to inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level it had on its field by 100. Alright. Fucking Prediction Princess. Oh god, she's got Prediction Princess. I fucking hate these cards so much. Alright. Well, this is going to happen just in case things are horribly wrong. I don't know. My monster... We'll just see what happens, because skill cards are actually pretty fucking good. Sure, why not? We'll see what happens when it happens. I guess. One ritual monster card. Yeah, Prediction Princess Tatori. They're good cards, Prediction Princesses. Winning is going to be a hard endeavor. Okay, we're going to do this real quick and add one Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to the deck. We're going to reveal that card to add one Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. 
and I can summon it to the other side of the field. Do you? No, I need something else to work with it. I can't summon it yet, though, but I can summon this. But why would I do that? Why would I do that when I've got this effect? And saying that, is it a perform pull card? It is, actually. Well, then. This is going to make it stronger. We can have this little bit puppy going up by 900 now. It's a nice start. It's a good stab. It's a good stab. All right. What do you do again for pull call? One uh, opponent's monster declares a direct attack. Target the attacking monster to negate the attack. Okay, yeah, I can do that. So that happens when it's attacking. The other card does what exactly? I don't know. Fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. Sure, I guess. I don't think it mean I don't think it can be affected by other cards. I don't think. Is that the same thing as again? Yep. All right. Well, this fucking boy on on, on my field is gonna be kicking some butt. You want some defense on the field? What kind of defense do you have, though? That is the question. What do you do? You retrieve one perform pull monster. No, let's not do that. I mean, I might as well... Oh, you just give the boost anyway, don't you? If there's a light monster on the field. Okay. That's fine. Give him the boost he needs to uh, level another fight. He, let's see what defense he's got. This could be backfired on me. Enough to kill. Okay. Enough to kill. That's fine. I know that one's the exact same card too, so... This fucking bowhop is pretty sick. Well, not sick, but... It's alive, at least. What you do? Oh, you're flipping out to bring another Prediction Princess card from the hand or deck? Yeah, you kind of need the uh, Ritual card itself to do some damage there, girl. Just saying. Ooh. I can't Pendulum Summon this. I would like to. Because I'll be able to Pendulum Summon this eventually. Is a level 5 monster, though? Oh, wait! Never mind. I fucking need these two for Rune Ice. Duh! I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, nice to know, nice to know, because they'll go back into the other, on the other side as well now. Yeah, dude, got some monsters on my side now. Alright. What is on this card's font? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nope, didn't get the pendulum summon monster anyway. Aha, level 5 or higher, this card can make up to 3 attacks on monster during each battle phase. 3 of fucking attacks! Damn, son! Now I'm gonna keep it on this. Give him that, give him the boost to keep, give him a fair advantage, you know? Alright. One attack. Uh, second attack. Ooh. I can't do a third attack, but it's fine. It's all good. That's what you do. Just use that to do all the damage. Runize is a pretty good fucking card. <laughs> Runize is pretty good. Runize is a pretty decent card. I've still got that card down. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Got another one in hand. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Hopefully you know what my defense monsters are. How long for? Two. Okay. We can wait it out. We can wait it out. This is turn number one. Uh-oh. 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 Don't worry. I've got a card in my hand. I've got a, I've got a card. I've got a card. It can help. It can help. It can help. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're pulling out two? Oh, shit. No! No! Let me use my fucking card, you bastard! Oh, direct attack. Ah. Um, whip snake. Good card. That's fine. I can still win this. I can still win this. Can I win this? Whip snake, I need you. I need you now. I need you, buddy. I need to use I'm gonna use your effect. 
on that. I'm going to use your effect on Whip Snake. And I'm going to show you how to fucking fight, bitch. Oh yeah, sure, that can fucking happen. Well, probably can happen, but still. How can I beat this god then? Hmm. Nice effect the card had though, not gonna lie. It was a nice effect. That's the point about this game though. What's the point about the game? I think this is a game over thing. 2700, 2700, and two 1400. Yes, yeah, game over. Thought it worked. We did well, though. We did really well. We did really well for that. All right. Round temp number two, well underway. So we can only see what happens. I'm good, we got all fisting. Now, nah, back to the Yu Gi Oh terms where we talk about fisting and bum holes. It's what happens. <laughs> it's what happens every time. Every time. Not a bad start, but sadly not a spellcaster. However, however, what do you do? Let me read it properly, because I don't. I didn't understand what it did the first time. You're gonna help when I've got thingies on the when they've got prediction princess on the field. So we'll play you down. When Prediction Princess comes up, we can use you. Can you give me a spellcaster? I mean, breakthrough skill's pretty fucking good, though. Not gonna lie. I don't want you in my hand. I don't want you in my hand. Breakthrough skill's pretty fucking good. Um, perform and pull. Discard one card, add two magician pendulum monsters. You don't say. You don't say. They don't say. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's do it aesthetically pleasing for myself. There we go. Good old shit going down over it. We can pendulum summon this bad boy. Nice pendulum dragon. There he goes. In all of his fucking glory. If this card battles opponent's monster and the battle damage you inflict to the opponent is doubled. Doubled, he says. Fucking doubled. Look at the damage. Look at the blamage. Boosh, bitch. Yeah, he's got no fucking wings, though. Makes no sense. Oh, no, his arms are spread out. That's what I can see. Okay. That's fine. Oh, do you want to pull out another one? That's cool. Can I break that? Can I block that? Can I block that? Fuck. That isn't good. That ain't good. Also, I'd like to know if I can, um... Fusion summon from the grave. Do I inflict this in battle damage? No. What do you do? If you control two or more performable cards, you can normal summon this card without tributing. I guess what? I can do that anyway, because I've got a pendulum summon, bitch! <laughs> performable pull call. Good card. <laughs> Just to pull out those other two cards. <laughs> like the fucking noise that escaped my throat. The fuck was it, dude? I have no idea. I would like to ping. I don't want to see this scene over and over again. I really don't. It doesn't look right for Rod Ice Pendulum Dragon, to be honest. It looks broken. What's this thing? When this card attack declares an attack, you can return all spell and trap cards you open and control. Ooh. Oh, why can't you attack? You cannot attack unless a control of a performable card. Right. Okay. So I need a performable card to make that work. Right. Whip snake. Whip snake's not helpful for any of y'all. Shit. Oh, there's the ritual monster. Um. Manju of the 10,000 hands. It'd probably give him another card to help with. I don't need this many fucking cards. Oh, you're dead. You are. You are. 
You are done zoned. You are done in rings. You got done. It's a nice start. Up third time we see if I cannot ice pendulum dragon doing all his former glory. Why does it zoom in on wrong place of the fucking dragon? Feels like the autumn like they designed the camera to zoom in on the on the magic cards, which are only targeted for certain ones, but it's not done for the right cards, you know? Like, it'll work well for Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, all that shit. But it looks like you're just cutting off half of his fucking head. Or his body, for that matter. Well, two powerful cards, and we've done pretty well for ourselves. I've got an, a plethora. Really? Do you know what's happening to you right now? You're losing 2,200 life points per turn. Which one stops magic cards from happening? Ah, phone pull card! Yes, good. Hey, lovely jubbly. And... What does breakthrough skill do? So I'm going to fa fa a little bit. So I'm going to one face of a fake monster your opponent controls. That face up monster your opponent controls has its effect negated until the end of this turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was to sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then do it again. Basically, that's what it says. Book of Moon. <gasps> oh no. Whatever will I do? Well, first of all, I'm going to kill that with that. Because why the fuck not, right? And do that to that, because fuck yourself. Okay. Alright. 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 See, he's put it in the right time, because now I've got to flip some of this fucking thing face up again. There you go. But I can't do anything with these, though, right? <sighs> Target one card you control this turn. When any monster effect resolves that target to that card at activation, negate the effect. Right, negate the effect after a card targets one of my fucking cards. Okay. So basically when Book of Moon fucking kicks in. I can break it, I guess? Sure. I'm getting quite concerned. I know what Book of Rights does, so... Oh, okay, major draw a card. That's fine. Major summon two cards? Fuck. Skill successor. Skill successor. Breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill. Please. No, you fucking don't, Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Ain't having that today, sir. Not today, matey. Although that can still attack. So. Oh, good. You didn't go for the strong one. That's fine. That is fine. What am I having Whip Snake, to be honest? Because. I'm thinking in my head. Well, I can't kill that with the monster. I need a little bit of extra attack. I mean, I can use this again. Ooh, also, I will have to stop your effect, won't I? But it stops its own effect. Because it puts me into defense position. I'm not going to attack it, so what's the fucking point? Unless it just happens if when the card attacks. I think it only works when it's attacking that card. I can flip it to face down defense position. Breakthrough skill stops it. From happening. So I have removed its effect. Initially. Just in case. I mean, if you want to stay on the field and do less damage, that's fine. That's perfectly fine by me. I think we've got 2,200 defense. Now. Oh, so it's, face down. it's all about stopping the other card. Like, it can attack, by all means. Go away. Go ahead and attack. What the fuck? Oh, no, I have another performable card. Never mind. Inflate base in battle damage and win. Fuck, change all types of monsters to something. To face down defense position, maybe? I destroyed it anyway, so... Oh, its effect didn't work. What was its effect? You can change all face attack vision monsters your opponent controls to face up defense position. Defense position. Monsters change to defense position by this effect cannot, be cha cha cannot change their battle positions. It's a flip summon, though. So sometimes it does work, sometimes it don't. Is that another bug in the game? I mean, I have another breakthrough skill on me for next round to stop the fucking Prediction Princess using this fucking magic. And I'll be using it right now. <laughs> That's you, stop for a turn. Do I summon a monster in attack position, please, dude? 
Fuck! What does that even do? I need a monster that can to kill that. Like, Whip Snake would be grand at this thing. Right now as well, because I've got I can use breakthrough skill to break it. <sighs> Fine. Here you go. Add that card to the hand. And reveal that, I guess. Oh yeah, I can summon two of the enough, can I? Because it got killed. But it's I can't fucking special summon it with the name. Shit. Um huh. How do I do this? I fucking knew it could do- Wait, hang on. I stopped you from doing your thing, didn't I? Not on my turn, I didn't. Fuck. Okay. 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 That's dead. Sorry, I can summon them all again. Yes! Yes! Don't sacrifice it. Don't sacrifice it. Don't sacrifice? Fuck! Wait, what are you summoning? Face down defense, but I don't know what that card is now. Uh. One of them. Hmm. Gain certain shot for each. This card is normal or special summon. You can target one monster you control. It gains three attack for each performable monster you currently control. Level five or lower monsters cannot attack. Interesting. This is. I think I've just won. I think I've just won. Because it gains 600 attack for whatever reason. Right. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Yes, please. On this one. Give him the 600 boost. Activate breakthrough skills effect. To stop the prediction princess using its attack. And then use the big boy to kill it. Right? We killed Prediction Princess. Okay. We fucking did skill there. We did some skill. We did some planning out. Woo! Alright, level 5 or lower monsters cannot attack. You're going to die next turn. I need to be very cautious of you. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, oh yeah, consider there's another form of monster on the card. I can attack with you. If you control two more formal cards, you can normal summon this card without tributing, blah, 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 blah. When this card declares an attack, you can return all spell and trap cards your opponent controls to the field. Yes, please. I have that on my side. Thank you. You're dead. Fuck. But I can I can win this turn, though, So I've got four more. I can't attack with that, though. Anything level five or lower cannot attack. Shit! It's fine. It's fine. If it brings out another fucking form pull card, I'll have to work with it somehow. <laughs> I need one more card on my tide. Damn it. He had four cards, and I had four cards. Fuck. But I've destroyed him, though. Absolutely fucking annihilated the bitch. Level 5 or lower monsters cannot attack. Level 5 or lower monsters cannot attack. That's all it says, though, isn't it? <sighs> Interesting. I can't really fucking sacrifice it or something like that. This is a tough duel. This is some strategic play by me. I thought it was going to do some bullshit. But it turns out they didn't do the bullshit. Oh, look. Yeah, all right. That's nice to know that I cannot pendulum summon... Uh, not Pendulum Summon, Sac um, Fusion Summon when my spellcasters are in the other zones. Yeah, because I will be able to use one of these to use it, so that's fine. Um, okay, let us use the monkey or the elephant because that stops that from being used. 
kills the Shining Angel, shoves it in attack position, and because you've got 1,400 attack on the field, and I've got this fucking card that annihilates, mic dropped, bitch. Nice. Odd Eye Spell Dragon, good card. That was a good duel. I like it. That was a very good duel. I'm impressed with myself. Well, anyway, though, that is all there is going to be for today with this video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We have got one more duel left to go before we do more duelist challenges, which I'm looking forward to this time around. More decks and stuff still need to be revamped, which is fun stuff. But either way, though, that is all there is going to be for today. And as always, this is Rick Light, signing out.